Hello everybody, my name is Sergey. Welcome back to another episode of the best PowerPoint games. And today I've got an incredible game for you. It's called Santa's Sack Race. It has four versions and I will explain each version in this video. Let me tell you about these four versions. So the first version of this game has no macros and no question slides. You can just press play and that's it. And I'll explain about this a little bit later. The second version of this game, it has macros, but no questions. The third version of this game, it has questions, but no macros. And the last version of this game, the fourth version, it has macros, no questions, but it has voiceovers. It's specifically designed for people who have visual impairment or for teachers who also work with these people who have a partial blindness. But before we continue, let me point out some of my questions that I ask in my YouTube community. So the first question I ask, would you mind to have macros in PPT games? And majority of people said no, but for this game I still created two versions so all the people could enjoy this game. And the second question, when you download the game, does Google Drive tell you that my game have a virus? And majority said no, it doesn't. But still have some people said that it does have a virus. So in this case, you need to just ignore. Because even if I upload my own files to a Google Drive and then I'll try to download them, it will tell me that there is a virus even though I don't have anything in them. And if you're new to my channel, hit subscribe. Oh, oh. Here I come. Oh, here I come. Oh. Because all of my PowerPoint games are absolutely free to download, you can find the link in the description. And now let me explain how to play this Santa's sack race in all four versions. Alright, so this version is the first version that has no macros and no question slides. So let me explain how to play this game because all these rules apply to all the versions of this game. So number one, there are four players in the game, four Santas, different colors. So let students choose the Santa or you can divide them into teams if you have lots of students. Okay, and number two, let students decide who will go first. You can use the physical dice or you can do rock, scissors, paper. Number three, Santas compete to cross the finish line and to get to the sack with presents. The first one crosses the finish line, will get to deliver the presents to the kids. Number four, the first player chooses a star above the TV. So you need the star to charge the star generator. When the star generator generates enough power, TV will show you a number of jumps. That's how many times a player has to jump. So some stars are faulty and can make TV explode. So if TV explodes, it will not show you any numbers. In this case, you will not be able to jump. And number six, whoever crosses the finish line will be the winner and the rest of Santas will turn into snowmen. Let's continue. So here we have a TV and you've got 30 stars above the TV. So when you decide who will go first, then a student needs to choose a star. So some stars are faulty, it will not tell you the number and TV will explode. So in this case, student number one cannot press on Santa to make him jump. So another student goes... And, we, and we've got two. So we we'll press on Santa. Try to press on head of the Santa, because if you press on a body of the Santa, you might press on a different Santa. Okay, so press on a head or his head or hat of the center. Okay, one and two. You 
gay. By the way, this is a star generator that generates power to the TV and shows you a number. All right. So one jump. Okay, now we've got two jumps. Three jumps. All right, so the blue Santa wins the game and the rest of the Santas turned into a snowman. In this version, Santa only needs to jump six times to win the game. Okay, press continue. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas! and Santa went to deliver presents to the kids. If your students already remember where is a faulty star or where is not a faulty star, you can just select the star and move it to a different place to mix the stars up. So every time you don't need to change anything here, you can just mix the stars and that's it. And you can play this game over and over again. This is version 2 that has macros but no questions, okay? So you need to enable macros in this game. So Santas need to jump 11 times to win the game because this game has macros and computer itself will give you randomly numbers of jumps or maybe not, <laughs> okay? That's why Santas have to jump more times. So you press on a star and it will randomly gives you the number. So let's continue to the next version. Alright, so we've got version 3 of this game and version 3 has no macros but has question slides. So for example, if you choose a star let's say this one it will take you to the question slide so you can modify question you also can add an image and also you have four answers and one is a correct answer so let's press on this correct answer and if you press on the wrong answer okay and then you press next and after that it will show you the number of jumps and then you can press on center, okay, and that's that's how you can play the game. Also, you can mix up all the stars, so it will be a random every time. So you only need to mix up the stars, nothing else. All right, let me show you how to change the questions. So let's say here, we've got image, you press on image, you change from the file, you press on a question here, you can change to your own question and the answers. Also, if you think that slide has too many answers, you can delete one or two and leave only three or maybe two, but delete only the wrong answer, not correct one. Santa Sack Race. Press on tap here to start your game. Tap here, tap here. How to play. Number one, continue. there are four continue. players in the game. Let's so this version of this game is specifically designed for people with a vision disability so they can also enjoy this game and all the buttons here and all the Santas Red Santa, Blue Sand, Green Sand, Purple Sand They all have a sound You can just put the mouse over Purple Sand and it will tell you where your mouse is at this time Star, 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 rules. You've got three jumps. Back, back. Okay, you've got three jumps. Red Santa. And if you play as a Red Santa, you can give Red Santa three jumps. One, Ready? two, three. 
Okay, red sand. Stop, start. You've got three jump back. Green sand. Green. St start. You've got three jump Start. You've got two jump back. Start. You've got two jump back. Start. Circuits. It seems like my TV just had a major meltdown. No Back. jumps. Green Santa. Congrats! Green Santa is a winner. Press continue to get to the winner slide. Continue. Green Santa wins. Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! Restart. Restart. Alright guys, that's it for this game and all the versions. If you've got any questions, you can always let me know in the comments. And please give a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.